sod farms that are growing weeds instead of sod this summer for some reason. Same thing over here. We got a little softball baseball park here. But that's it out here on that side. And we hay that pasture there. And here's the creek. And everything on the other side of the creek, that's us. It's pretty dense back up in there. Used to be swamps. They've been bringing in backfill for years and years now. It goes all the way up that direction, four telephone poles. And we got both sides of the road here. Both sides of the road here as far as the road goes. And this used to just be swamps. And now it's flat through there. Just the timber left that we want. This is the last piece to be done. This low, you can tell, you can tell even better here. See how low it is there. In fact, it gathered water from this last rain and we got a pond. Over here was a real mess. And they brought it up that far. Look how far they're gonna bring this side up. We got them running in here all day long. Dump trucks, big dump trucks. They're gonna put at least eight foot of dirt out here, at least. Yeah. This side of the road used to look like this side of the road just a few weeks ago. It's amazing what bulldozers will do. But yeah, since we did this over here, it stopped the water from flowing through down there on the end. And now this created, well, it rained once and we got Lake Lindsay here. Look, he put a boat out there. Huh? 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 Uh, yeah, but this is where we get to go play in the middle of the in the middle of the city. And yeah, basically, there, this one mile section right here is unincorporated, and it is in the middle of the city. And we can shoot and blow stuff up and do whatever we want. Look at all that fill. That's hard fill, there, buddy. 121st and Memorial, I mean Yale, I mean, no, 121st and Mingo intersection project is here. And then there's a construction project right down the road that's here. So yeah, this side of the road is next. Yeah, I wonder why we're doing that because right on the top of that hill are now million dollar homes. Well, that one there is like three. And there's one right beside it you can't see. And oh yeah, this piece of property is worth a fortune now. It just took 22 years of hard work. <laughs>